Okay, so thank you for joining uh, this final session of the day here in the dining room. Uh, uh, this session is, uh, oh, aims to provide an insight into Japanese culture through its language. And our speaker for this session is uh, Makoto Netsu, who is the uh, chief uh, Japanese language advisor at the Japan Foundation London. Uh, and in this session, Netsu-sensei will use manga and anime to introduce some useful Japanese expressions while also highlighting the underlying, cultural be uh, underlying culture behind these phrases. So, Netsu-sensei, onegaishimasu. Konnichiwa. Hi. Um, um, I have to apologize to you if you're expecting for watching um, Spirited Away or Naruto in this session due to some copyright reasons. I'm not watch we are not watching for that. And instead of that, uh, we're going to do uh, for, for those who are beginners in, or who are interested in Japanese language but have never studied before, uh, we're going to introduce, you're going to introduce yourself in Japanese, both in the standard Japanese and in various styles which were used in Japanese anime. And then the other thing is learn some onomatopoeic words, onomatopoeia in Japanese. And um, before starting that, let me ask you if you, how many of you have already studied Japanese language? Ah, uh, about half of that. Okay, so, um, okay, who like anime? Arigato. Manga? Okay, for your information, anime is animated, and manga is a book. Books and magazines. Okay. Well, okay. So um, it seems like many of you are interested in anime and manga. So uh, the questions or message I'm, I'm going to send you is um, um, oh, before that, the final question is um, for those who are watching anime, do you watch translated ones uh, or subtitled ones? Who, who hands up if you're watching translated ones? Okay, with subtitles in Japan. Oh, what's oh, going? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, okay, so um, the first one message is um, um, watching anime in Japanese language. Does it help you to understand Japanese language and culture? That's the first question. Okay, yeah, yeah, agree. Thank you for agreeing with me. And the other message is. Um, um, Learning, uh, so learning Japanese makes, um, oh, oh, that's the same. So using these anime and manga help you to, um, to study oh, Japanese language. You, do you agree? Okay. So, uh, so I will ask you the same questions at the end of the session. So for the first half, I'm going to use Japanese in anime and manga, which was produced by the uh, headquarters in Japan. And, um, and first, before that, uh, we are going to do some self-introduction in standard Japanese. So um, for those who have not uh, studied Japanese language before, um, please ask those experts who, 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 are, um, who are very fluent Japanese speakers in this hall. And uh, we are going to learn five words. And uh, it's fu funny to say good morning at this time, but um, okay. the first one. Ohayou gozaimasu. Could you repeat after me? Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Very good. Uh, hi. Konnichiwa. 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 Or maybe you can say, Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Hi. Watashi wa des. Put your names in it. So in my case, Netsu. Watashi wa Netsu des with your own name. Hi. Simply, Netsu des. Ah, your name. <laughs> uh, again, Netsu des. Hi. So, uh, why can you say netsu desu without watashi wa? Thank you very much. Um, does anyone speak Spanish or? Okay, thank you. Do you say I when you talk about yourself? Can you omit it? Okay. okay. Um, in, but uh, in Japanese, um, we have no um, first person or second person in, in a pronoun. So, um, uh, uh, no, no, in no 
changes in verbs. So he, uh, when you talk about he, I, he or yourself, it doesn't make change. So, but the other thing that's a, that's similar to Spanish, I guess. But the other thing is, um, uh, if it's obvious, you can skip it. So if you're talking about yourself, if the other person, the interlocutor knows that, you don't have to say that. So that's why you can skip watashi wa. So that's the second reason. The first reason was he was correct. Hi. OK, the next one. Dozo yoroshiku. Dozo yoroshiku. Hi, the last one. Ja mata. OK, OK, from the very beginning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Hi. Konnichiwa. Hi. Watashi wa netsu desu. So it's your turn to talk to you, some, someone sitting next to you, and I will give you one minute for that. And Dozo. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, so how was it? That's quite easy, wasn't it? So, and actually, it's on the handout. So if, you don't have, if we don't have um, enough worksheets, please share it. Um, I just underestimated the number of um, audience. Um, what we're going to do from now is in saying that expressions in various, in variations, such as boy, a girl, scrapper, or guy, and samurai. So samurai, apparently, he speaks very different from others. Okay, so let's listen to how boy says. Ohaya. Um, you might have heard, you might think it's quite high, then, but um, in most anime works, um, girls and boys speak for, in a very high voice. As you might know. Okay, can you listen to that again? And this time, please repeat after him. Ohaya! Oh. Ohaya! Sugoi, <laughs> you have an accurate ear. <laughs> Hi, okay, girl. Hi. Ohaya! <laughs> oh. So this time, please repeat after him. Ohayo. Hi. Sugoi. Okay, the third one, scrapper. Okay. Yo, os. <laughs> Would you like to listen to that again? <laughs> okay. Yo, os. Yo, os. Um, maybe uh, someone you uh, doing doing very well in a lower voice <laughs> can you do that again <laughs> in a proper way hi <laughs> yo os yo os sugoi hi okay the finally samurai it's very challenging it's gokiden ni ikada de gozaru ka hi okay let's see how it Gokigen ikaga de gozaruka. Okay, let's listen to that. Gokigen ikaga de gozaruka. Okay, so let's break it into pieces. Gozaruka. 
。ござるか。はい、いかがでござるか。ご機嫌いかがでござるか。もう一度、ご機嫌いかがでござるか。すごい。はい。so um okay first one boys。could you can you say that。おはよう。そうです。The second one。おはよう。The third one。おおそう。The fourth one。はい、あん、ご機嫌いかがでござるか。はい、perfect。そうです。So、that's for hello.、Uh, uh, the f- actually, boy and girl says good morning as you, you know. おはよう。Okay, the next one。私はです。I think remember that I said you can skip watashiwa, you can omit watashiwa, but in this case, they're saying that words. Okay, the first one. Please listen to that. Boku, te u na. So that's some boku te u na. In my case, Netsu, or Makoto, my first name. Boku, Makoto te u na. Okay, that's, that's how it goes. Okay, please listen to that again. So now put your name, your own name there, and try to say that after him, okay? Boku, te u na. Boku, makoto, te u na. Okay, you don't have to、uh, make your voice quite high. <laughs> Use your natural voice, okay? Okay, so in this case, okay. Can you say that? Boku, te u na. Boku, makoto, te u na. Sugoi. Okay, next one. Just listen. Atashi. Oh. Hi. So, ends with your name. Just that's it. Okay. So, that's easy, isn't it? So, can you say that? Atashi. Makoto. Hi.、Um, um, I'm not saying Atashi Makoto, because、um, Atashi is for girls, but.、Um, You can try. <laughs> okay. Hi. The third one, Scrapper. Please hear it. Ora <laughs> da. Would you like to listen? Would you? Sugoi. Hi. Okay, let's have it. Ore wa. Can you say that? Ore wa. Da. So,、uh, with your own name, Ore wa netsuda. Okay, please repeat after him. Ora da. Ore wa netsu da. Yes, yes.、Uh, who said netsu? That's, <laughs> that's my name. Okay, the, fi- the last one. Okay, I've already shown that.、Eh? The most challenging one. Okay, Samurai. Sesha tomo s u m o de g o t a はい。Okay. せっし、can you say that? せっしゃ。せっしゃ。That's a very,、um, you can find that word in、um, historical drama <laughs> on the TV.、Um, せっしゃ、which means I, used by,、uh, probably used by the samurai. せっしゃ、can you, yes. 熱と申すものでござる。熱と。はい、OK。from the from the end。ござる。はい、ござる。ものでござる。はい。と申すものでござる。はい。so with your own name。熱と申すものでござる。perfect。so starting with 拙者。拙者、熱と申すものでござる。はい、that's challenging, isn't it? Okay, okay, next one. Okay, nice to meet you. Actually, this one is not included in our website,、um, anime manga, Japanese in anime and manga. But、um, to make it natural, I, I, I'm going to introduce that. Yoroshiku ne? Yoroshiku ne? To make it bo- more you know,、um, boyish, you can also say, Yoroshiku na? よろしくな。Okay. Next one. 仲良くしてね。仲良くしてね。仲良くしてね
that's it. Hi, the third one. So Scrapper says that. Yoroshikuna. 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 Perfect. Okay. The, okay. Samurai. Nanitozo Yoshinani. Okay. The the latter half. Yoshinani. Yoshinani. Nanitozo. Hi. Nanitozo Yoshinani. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Next one. The final phrase for from beginning from the boy. Bye bye. Ah, that's easy. Bye bye. Hi. So there's for girl. Jane. 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 Hi. Scrapper. Hi. Jana. How about you? Okay. Jana. How about? Actually, you can choose one of them, Jana or Abayo. Okay. So, can you say that? Jana. How about you? Jana. Abayo. Mm. Okay. The, finally, samurai. Here comes. As it's quite long, um, you can choose one from the three. Okay. Okay. Let's listen to that. Okay. The, let's go from the first one. Sarabaja. This literally means. Um, goodbye. And the uh, second one and third one means something like excuse me. Okay, the second one. Shikke. Shikke. Okay, the third one. Shitsure tsukamatsuru. Shitsure tsukamatsuru. It's what is called humble form, humble expression of saying excuse me. Okay. Or maybe maybe excuse. Okay. So that's for samurai. Okay. But now it's your turn <laughs> to choose, select one character, your favorite character, and try to, you know, pretend that try to act as he or she. Um, and you have a worksheet on, or you can. It's quite small, but um, um, choose one character, and you you may say hello, hello, or good evening, konbanwa. I think you remember that. So. First, uh, you can tell the partner what, uh, you don't have to say that, you, you can just act. And so, could you work in pairs? Okay, hi, dozo. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. So how was it? <laughs> okay. Um, have you noticed anything? Um, where's I? Uh, the word in English, I, how do you say that in your character? Atashi for girls and for boys. Boku, right. That's some, maybe you have learned that those expressions in your textbooks. How about um, samurai? Sesha, right. And um, yaro, ore. Wa is a particle, so or making um, mark, topic marker, so you can say ore. So how about in English or in your own language? Do you have many I? Do you? So if you watch anime and translate it, anime, uh, can you notice, do you notice that such variations are used? Really? Um, so, um, so if you listen to that, if you learn the expressions in Japanese, um, that will help you to understand the characters and characteristics of these characters. and. Um, even human relationship between characters. So, um, but um, the next question is: Are you watashi? How? Which one can you use? Watashi, ore, or bo? For 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 men, for men, ore, boku. So those characters often use ore, right? These character, these characters um, use boku. 
So what do you think the difference is? Okay. Um, ore is quite casual, close, macho, arrogant, aggressive, rude. While boku, young, innocent, maybe kind, <laughs> cultural, urban. <laughs> Of course, it depends, but um, so that's a general image, well brought up. Okay, so for for girls or for women, okay, atashi, watashi, or even some girls use boku in anime. Have you ever heard of that? Boku, originally used for boys. Okay, so these characters. Okay, so atashi sounds like perky, lively. These characters, while watashi, watashi, formal, adult, sophisticated, and uh, well brought up. And boku, boyish, maybe, or cool, intelligent, like that. So that's uh, the examples of where I, saw, where I said uh, it will help you to understand the characteristics. Okay, so on this website, which is at the bottom of the second page, um, Actually, we have eight characters, and we also have a quiz. Whose line is it? So, Yoroshi Kuteo, who's, who's saying that? So, it's a princess type character. And then um, it also features samurai scenes and um, ma manga like that. And can you see that uh, it gives you pop up translation explanations? And then, um, if you put your cursor on um, these words, It'll show you how to, uh, how, what kind of sounds ma ma it makes and translation in English and some cultural information. Okay, and there are also sound effects quiz. So, um, in, if you read, if you're familiar with um, translated manga, you may find that the first one, something like the, in English, written in English, and but actually in Japanese it's written like that. So some translated manga uses original sound effects, onomatopoeia. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, in this case, using the other website, Erin. Okay, Erin is originally um, British high school students who are currently studying Japan and staying in a Japanese family. And um, it introduces her school life and. Um, family life, daily life with her host family and in town. And um, please have a look at the worksheet. The first question is laughing, to laugh. So um, it's, it's just think of a thesaurus. Uh, what kind of words do you have, verbs do you have in English? It's, it's, uh, other than laugh, to laugh. Okay, so um, in the worksheet, it gives you a list of giggle, smile, laugh loudly, grin. So could you s match the mouth? It, you can work by yourself or work together. Uh, I'll give you 20 seconds total. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Okay, let's have a look on the website and it will show you a page like this. Actually, it's a part of a um, long manga story. And yeah, if you click on return to manga, it's two page manga like that. And at, in the final scene, they are laughing. Mm -hmm. Oh, sumimasen. <laughs> Etto, okay. So um, here's, here's a special video for that. <laughs> okay, that's it. So wahahaha was what was it? A B C D, <laughs> laughing. Hi, laugh, laughing loudly. Hi. How about kusu kusu? Kusu kusu. Sounds like 
Uh, is there someone doing that? Yes, like, like kusu kusu. So, view movie. So, okay, as you can see, it's um, giggling, but um, in a, usually in a subdued voice, or silent, very, um, well, whispering, really. Okay, the third one. Nia nia. Nia, it's not meowing. S smile, smile. Yes, smiling, but um, I like his, this guy. <laughs> so he's grinning, but um, <laughs> silently, without making any voice. But um, if you, um, you think of something happy or something pleasant or something you like uh, and grin, and um, if other people see you, um, they may feel you a bit, a bit strange. So that's the nuance of Nia Nia. The final one, so naturally it goes to um, Niko Niko, smile. Right. Ah, oh, did I say giggle? Nya Nya for uh, green for Nya Nya. Okay. Okay, so question two raining or rain. What, what kind of words for, do you have for it's wet? <laughs> Various rains. Okay, so how about pots pots? This is, here's an example sentence. Pots pots, furi hajimeta. Furi hajimeta means it started to rain. Hi, a few drops of rain. Okay, this one we don't have manga. For shito shito. Heavy rain? Za za. Which sounds heavier? Zaza, <laughs> za, za, right. So, shito shito, fine gentle rain, and zaza, za, a heavy rain. Okay, okay let's have a look at, the, oops, um, okay, um, as we, uh, we don't have enough time. So the rain falls gently for a long time. That's shito shito, the typical rain in um, rainy season in June and July. And while zaza, So example says, in the middle of the night, I woke up due to the sound of heavy rain. That's zaza. Okay, thank you. So, was 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 that correct? You guessed. You are guessing. Okay. So why why do you think it was correct? Why do you think can you get you can guess? Uh, that's right. So, so you, you might have similar words, or may, so partly, uh, to some extent, it might be universal, but um, very, there are various opinions on that, but um, uh, at least I, I'm sure you can enjoy that. And um, okay, uh, in these websites, there are lots of words like that. And um, um, so from the, this uh, learning onomatopoeia, my message, go, going back to my message, is um, uh, please look, have a look at um, example sentences. Pots pots furi hajimeta and shito shito futte iru. The final one, za za futte iru. So, futte iru, the verb, furimas, futte iru. We, you're repeating the same verb. We don't have variety for verbs. How about in English? Do you always use for? Uh, the, uh, any other verbs for that? Burn. Dizzle. All right. Hi. Arigato. So, this is
Mm. So um, generally, Japanese verbs, or, or let me say pure Japanese verbs, are, have a very general, wide meanings. So you have to dif differentiate or distinguish from the context or using those onomatopoeia. So that's the nature of Jap pure Japanese. Or otherwise, you can use kanji. For example, for nakimas, uh, for weep or cry or animal noises, we all use nakimas, but different kanji for birds and baby. So, th so pure Japanese, um, I mean, original Japanese words uh, very, have such a wide meaning. So you will notice such differences or similarities and differences between Japanese language and English or, or your own language while you're keeping studying Japanese language. So um, I hope you will enjoy um, those both Japanese language and culture in your future. And um, other for um, this is a newly um, launched website by the Japan Foundation. It's, if you are a total beginner, I really recommend you to go to this website. And um, you, uh, you can virtually um, talk with um, people which appears in video. And for other information about Japanese language and culture, please visit our website. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.